Before I Fall. Oh, Before I Fall Asleep. So last week when we were doing this, a、uh, Flame Vortex 3000 had told us that we should watch this movie and do an episode on it. And I hadn't seen it. You hadn't seen it. We didn't know anything about it. I don't know if、uh, Flame Vortex enjoyed this movie or not, but I hated every second of this movie. I. What is that sound? Are you operating a lightsaber? No. Oh, okay. That's what it sounds like. That's all. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay.、Nope. Uh, yeah, I did not care for this movie.、Um, so, the idea, the story is there's this girl who dies, right? And th- that's what happens in the, the beginning. She dies in a car crash and wakes up、mm-hmm. in a Groundhog Day scenario where every, she, every time she goes to sleep, she wakes up and relives the same day over and over and over again. Yeah.、Um, She's got a group of friends. She's basically the mean girl. She's one of the mean girls from Mean Girls. She's a bully at her school. But she's, she's probably like Lindsay Lohan in Mean Girls, though. Not quite, but. You know, as in, not like she's not the Rachel McAdams, but she's still a mean girl. Yeah. Was Lindsay Lohan a mean girl in Mean Girls? I felt like she was on the outside of that. She became a mean girl. I guess. I haven't seen that movie for a long time. But so she, she's like the, she follows along with the main,、yeah. the main girl and is bullying people and just kind of mean and all this different stuff.、Um, it, One girl in particular. Yeah. And I don't remember her name. Let's see. I can, it's, and, and I don't even care. I feel like it's Hannah or something.、Uh, she, I thought it was Lindsay, wasn't it? I thought the, no, the friend was Lindsay. So, Samantha is the main girl. Lindsay is her friend. Okay.、Uh, Juliet and Allie. Was it Allie? No. No, Allie's the friend and Elodie is a friend. Okay. So, it's Juliet, Juliet. is the weird girl. Yeah. That is correct. So, Juliet ends up killing herself because she's being bullied by these group of girls. And.、Uh, We don't find out until the second time she relives the day and she just gets a text message. And... <sighs> This movie. Are you, are you driving away? <laughs> <laughs> I wish.、Um, they, you find out that the reason why their car crashed is because Juliet jumped in front of their car. Yeah. She, so the girl goes back in time and then her goal is to keep herself alive. Everything she does is to keep herself alive. And she does that the first night. Then she finds out that Juliet dies. Then her next goal is let me see. It happens like five times. I want to say so、yeah. she goes back the first time, keeps herself alive by changing things, by not going out、uh, to party. I think they stay home and watch movies and stuff. I think that's the third time because I think the first time she doesn't, she just thinks that she's. Had a weird dream and everything is still happening. I think they all still die, anyways. She doesn't really change much. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So the second time she goes back and nothing happens and everything plays out the same way. Which, which, was, which that would be realistic, though, no, right? Because you're not going to like wake up and automatically be like, oh automatic- man, here's my, second ch- here's my second chance. Not automatically. You would assume that you just had a super realistic dream. Yeah, but when everything starts happening the way it happened in your dream, And you know it's going to end with you crashing, then you wouldn't get in that car. Like, as soon as, as soon as they bully the girl and she starts calling them names and all this stuff, it's like, oh, wow, this is way too, too specific. Yeah. Yeah. And you would not get in the car that is about to kill you. But she does because she's dumb and she dies again. At that point, I, if it, even if I'm not fully on board thinking, man, I have gone back in time and I'm, I'm you know, living Groundhog's Day because that seems implausible.、Yeah. Like, just in case, though, I'm not going to go in the car. Yeah. Like, just, just as a superstition or, a, you know, a caution. Yeah, exactly. You would, you would not get back in that car at that point. After, 
after everything you dreamed was so vivid and you're like, oh man, I remember this happened in my dream, this happened in my dream, you would definitely remember that the car crashes and you would not get in it. There's no way I don't buy that for a second. But she does, she dies again, wakes back up in her bed. The second time, or the third time through the day, she gets her friends to just stay at home and all hang out and you know have like a sleepover instead of going to the party. Then they find out that Juliet killed herself. And this is like, you know, shocking news to everyone. And the the main girl, the main, what's her name, Lindsay, it like doesn't care. She's like, why do you, we were mean to her before. Why are you guys going to act sad now that she's dead? That doesn't make sense. But, but she has a good point. It's yes and no. Like the girl killed herself it's... because of them. Yeah. But do you think they see it like that? They should. That doesn't mean they do. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think, well, Lindsay was kind of the one character that was at least consistent with her thinking. Like, I think her doing that was a sign of her guilt of like, don't feel bad. If we feel bad, then I have to take responsibility type of thing. Yeah, maybe. Where everyone else was just dumb all the time. Um, yeah. So they are... Uh, so that happens. They stay home. Juliet kills herself. Then she goes back and relives the day again. And I, I believe this time through, she's like, you know what? If I ha- have to live this day, I'm just going to live it how I want. And Yeah, she just doesn't care. She like comes on to her teacher, which was very out of place. So, so here's – so okay. Here was my issue with that. But – I'll rewind real okay. quick. So she's kind of douchey to her parents, yeah. you know, to her sister, to her mom and dad, whatever. Uh, then she goes, uh, she's kind of just like I said, doing whatever she wants. She's mean to her friends. Then there's that. Yeah. She's, she like calls them all out yeah. and she's like gets ditched by him. Cause she was being so rude, mm. which like my fear with that. Right. Let's say I've, I've relived this day three times now. I don't know why it's happening. I don't know what's causing it. I don't know if it's going to happen forever. You know, like, I, I don't know. Like, the time that I decide to be a jerk to everybody yeah. and, like, do things bad is, like, the one time, the time it, that it doesn't reset anymore. Yeah. Like, I would, I'd be too afraid of that happening for me to do anything substantial like yeah. that in any. I don't care if I've lived this day 5,000 times. It's that one time I, I do something different that's going to change. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, so then there's the teacher part, which is wacky because there was no it, – it was so out of place. Yeah. Be, they they should have made it, in my opinion, like it should have been something that they discussed like, ooh, this teacher's into you or this yeah. – like, you know, mm-hmm. like some, some wacky rumors. So then in this reality, she says, well, I'm going to put it to the test. Yeah. And then and and then him just like completely shut her down like, no, not everyone's into you or you know mm-hmm. something like that. But they didn't they didn't explore anything like yeah, that. Yeah, they didn't establish so that the teacher it was, was really a creep. out of place. Yeah, exactly. Or yeah, it, it was so dumb. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, so then she goes to the party, finds out in one of the realities before her boyfriend was cheating on her. But yeah. so like a big storyline was she was going to lose her virginity to her boyfriend at this party. And the this timeline where she's just doing everything she wants, she just goes and sleeps with him and regrets it. And yeah, it. I'm trying to think, does she chase Juliet at this one or not? Uh, No. So I think how does this one end? this one? It, oh, hold on. Yeah, that's right. She. I believe this is. She goes and and uh, hangs out with the other guy, right? The no, guy that has a crush. That's on her? the next one. I think. She, okay. I, yeah. Okay. You know, she talks to him. Uh, she does talk to him in the room, but this isn't where they kiss. Yeah. No, no, no. It's they just hang out a little bit. And then she. But I'm trying to remember. She wakes up happens. and she's like, "If I have to live this day over and over, I'm gonna make it special." And so she spends the day but, with but, her but sister. But how did that one end? Did she just go home? Yeah, so she's hanging out with the other guy. And 
I don't, I, I don't remember exactly. But anyways, it, it moves on to the next day and she spends yeah. a day with her sister and decides she's going to be a good person. And then that's when she kisses the other guy, her friend from yeah, third she, grade. She does go to the party. Yeah. And then that's when she chases Juliet and she's talking to Juliet. So they, she's like, I know what you're going to yeah. do. You don't have to do it. And then she watches Juliet run in front of Lindsay's car and gets hit by the car and dies. And well, so she, she learns a lot of information though mm-hmm. about her and Lindsay uh, being childhood friends and how they used to be friends. And then her parents were going through a divorce and she was there for this and that. But then she kind of like twisted all the stories to make uh, Juliet look like, the one having issues. Yeah. So Lindsay had Peter pants or like struggled with that after her parents' divorce and yes. peed in her sleeping bag, but blamed it on Juliet. And they started calling her mellow yellow. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Something like and that. And they just, for Lindsay was afraid that people would find out that she peed her pants. So she like, so why not blame it on literally anybody else? Why blame it on your friend? Yeah, they were best friends at the time, and she just threw Juliet under the bus to protect herself. And we find out this is the main reason that started all the bullying, which led to Juliet killing herself. Yes. And it was just like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I thought that was kind of a lazy motivation for Juliet's character. Like... Well, no, I, I mean, I get it because if you can assume that from that point on, who you know, however long ago it was, it's probably been but that's, five, six years. That's the issue is that you have to assume you have to you have to take what they're giving you and build on it yourself to get to the point of, oh, OK, I understand why she wants to kill herself now. The only thing the movie tells you is that they made fun of her for peeing in a, a sleeping bag. And then they just continued to make fun of her, which I feel like yeah, on the movie's part is kind of a lazy motivation for her needing to kill herself. Eh, I mean, maybe. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I understood it. I got it. Yeah, no, because you, like you said, you assumed a lot of other things. You had to build it yourself, which I think is lazy on the writer's part. Well, what do you? What? How would you have done it? How would you have done? Because they implied that they still make fun of this girl for pee. Because they even when she walks by, she's like, "Oh, you guys smell that!" Like implying that this is still something that she is made fun of on a daily basis. I understand that. Yeah. So, what else do they need to do? do? You think that's a reasonable reason to kill yourself over? If it was isolated to that, no. Well, that's what I'm saying. But the. The motivation they gave the character to want to kill herself is kind of lazy. They didn't really dig into that. They just said, oh, she they're making fun of her for peeing when she didn't even pee herself and she's going to kill herself because of that. And it seems like the reaction on Juliet's part was very extreme for what the movie is telling you is happening. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, but so I'll give it to you. So Sam, Samantha watches Juliet run and kill herself. And then she wakes up the next day, the final day and is like, now I know what I have to do. And she's like smiling and so happy. Call Kurt Cameron. <laughs> um, and I hated that. Like you, you literally just watched someone that you had an active hand in of uh and bullying killed themselves because of that you she felt no guilt she was like you know positive and happy and like oh, i'm gonna be able to fix everything she wasn't damaged by watching someone murder themselves or commit suicide right in front of her eyes she's just like oh i can fix everything and then everything's beautiful and she's like complimenting all her friends and like oh you know i love you because you do this and i love you because you do that and you're so special because of this and, you know, like talking to her sister about how she doesn't need to change. She doesn't need to worry about her lisp. Just, 
you know, be herself. And then she meets up with that other boy and is like, you know, your kiss was the best one I've ever had. And he's like, what? I never kissed you. And then so she's like, oh, you better start. But she's doing all this running up to the last moment she would be able to talk to Juliet. She didn't go and seek her out in the beginning of the day, which is what you really should have done. Like, Oh yeah. As soon as possible. Yeah. Go to her house in the morning. Don't even wait till you get to school, go and talk to her directly. But no, she waits until Juliet is running to go kill herself to chase her down. And she like catches up with her and they're arguing. Juliet tries to run in front of a truck and Sam runs out there and shoves her out of the way and gets hit herself and she dies. And she's like at peace because she saved Juliet's life this time. That was that ending was so stupid. She's like, ah, you saved me. Yeah. It's like, no, you saved me. <laughs> oh, man, it was it's so bad. Yeah, it's really awful. Here's the thing. This girl that is already like struggling with suicidal thoughts and hating everyone around her just had to witness like someone else die to save her because of because of what she was doing yeah. don't you think it's gonna be and and now all the other mean girls are still alive mm-hmm. and are probably gonna torment her even further because of yep. this like hey on top of everything <laughs> now you also got our friend killed <laughs> so you think Ju- juliet like, killed herself gonna get again worse. right afterwards uh, yeah like the next truck that came by <laughs> Was there anything that you liked about this movie? Do you think this movie did anything well? Uh, I don't think the movie itself did anything well, but I feel like if if anyone was going to get a, a performance award, I would say the boy, I don't remember his name, the one that was her uh-huh. friend and the, the party was at his yep. house, the, the nice kid, I guess. I thought he did a pretty good yeah. job. What did you... Uh, other than that, no. Nothing what else. did you think about the lesbian in this? Uh, lesbian. So you're gonna have to refresh. I don't remember a lesbian. So okay, I I didn't like her character. I thought she was dumb. But uh, ooh, you can't say I know. that. Uh, she was in the classroom, and they're passing out all the. What, what do they call it? Cupid's Day. Was that a yeah an interesting I, I was trying way to figure out is that a is that a different day than valentine's day or they like can't like legally say valentine's that's day? that's what i didn't understand i didn't know do I schools didn't. not call it valentine's day and they call it cupid's day because everyone in this movie know. called it cupid's day yeah it was bomb. um but anyway so they're passing out all the roses and the lesbian girl's like oh i'm trapped in this head of heteronormative hell and she's like so exhausting just in that moment of like, oh, I hate everything that you guys are doing. And then she comes up later where she's talking to Sam. And she's like, why do you hate me? Is it because I'm lesbian? Oh, the one in the, the, one in in the, the bathroom. bathroom. That's and right. then they trade shoes. Uh, no, yeah, they hate you because you're exhausting. You're making... Because you're a hateable person. Everything about you sucks. You're, everything this movie shows of that character, she's just complaining about everybody else. And, yeah, there's no likable quality, yeah. so why would we like it? And they, they try to make it out like, oh, you, you just hate me because I'm lesbian. It's like, no. that According to this movie, no, they don't like you because you're annoying. You're just negative. And people don't want to be around that. Yeah. Like, that, it seems and, pretty and, simple. And the whole roast thing, like, why does that have to be heteronormative? Like, fine to hetero, yeah. yeah. Like, lesbians can give out roses no, too. Not on Cupid's not, Day, Taylor. There's no, I, I, I guess they're not, not allowed. Not uh, only on lesbian. Cupid's Day. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, her her motivations were dumb. Yeah, it was weird. Like to for the movie to make you feel like you should be sympathetic because they bully her for being lesbian when that's not. One, they never show her bullying her. I don't think she's ever been bullied. Like, we never see her get bullied at all. So we don't know what they bully about yeah. her or if they even do. Or they, ugh, It's so stupid. They just want you to think that, oh, she's lesbian. They must hate her because of that. Like, that makes, that adds up. That tracks. Oh, lesbians are, are you know, this attacked minority that we must sympathize with. Yeah. And you you can't just do that in a movie. You can't just be like, oh, 
clearly I'm sympathizing with this character because they fit into this category. When what yeah. you're showing is them being aggressively negative towards everything around them. It's like, oh, you're, you're putting up walls and attacking people for nothing. You're probably not going to have a lot of friends in this, in this universe. That seems like your own fault. If you're hurting, yeah. if you're like, you know, attacking anyone who's close, then yeah, you people don't want to be around you. That makes sense. If you, if you had this exact same attitude and personality, but you weren't a lesbian, it would probably be exactly the same. yeah. If there was, if it was just a straight girl or a straight guy or a gay guy, whatever, who was just like, oh, I hate Cupid's Day. This stuff is stupid. It'd be like, oh, okay, this person's annoying. Nobody wants to be around him. That makes sense. Now, had she like received a rose or or not received a rose? I don't remember if she ended I, up getting. I don't it or think not. she did. And, and someone had made like a comment about something to do with her being a lesbian. You know, at least kind of pointed in the direction like, yeah, this is something that she is attacked for. Then it would make total sense. Or if they would have said something, like made a joke about her being gay, you know, or like yeah, exactly, said exactly. something under their breaths. Or, you know, been victimized in any way. It would have been like, oh, okay. Even a little, a little. Yeah. Way, that's it. But she, in the movie, she was the aggressor. And then you're supposed to sympathize with her later, which I thought was dumb. The other thing. So, I the I, other, I don't remember her saying that comment, the hetero world or whatever. I don't. They I, say it like five so times. So, I didn't even. Oh yeah. My, <laughs> Every time she's in the classroom. Down. I didn't even realize that she was a lesbian until she said, is it because I'm a lesbian? Mm. I was like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the other thing that really bothered me about this movie was I feel like the writers just l- the plot. looked, uh, yeah, the plot looked up on BuzzFeed how teens talk. Uh, you know, because yeah. there's like one scene where the guy's like "brb" and got up and walked away. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm 30 now. Maybe I'm too old to know how teens talk, but that was stuff kids said, like used when I was in high school still like on aim and stuff like that. And nobody yeah. said it in real life. I never heard anyone say BRB. I've heard people say, uh, we used to do it like jokingly. Yeah. You know, like, oh, LOL, yeah. you know, stuff like that, but not as like a real, not sincere, thing. not as like a way to communicate. And I feel like whoever wrote this was so out of touch and how, yeah, it's the talk. same writer from uh, the uh, in oh, what was the Divergent movie? Oh, was it? Or from no, from the, no, it wasn't from from the same lady who wrote the Divergent books because that's oh, how okay. I felt reading those awful, awful books. It, is books. it really the same person? Or are you just saying that? No, it's not. It's got that same feel oh. to it, where it's like, where did you get this from? Yeah. Were you like? This is what you think, or you, like you overheard someone saying something like this yeah. once. Well, there's, a, there's the, I think it was the FBI. I, I could be wrong, but somebody released all of the acronyms that teens use, uh, for you know typing and or uh, for like, um, texting each other and stuff. It was a couple of years ago, yeah. and like, they were just crazy, like so specific. Please tell me they were all wrong. Well, I mean, I, I, it's hard to say for sure, but like. They were like ones I had never heard of or knew about. And, you know, I was like 24, 25 when it came out. So maybe I was too old again (laughs) to really know that kids are typing stuff like, oh, parents are over my shoulder. I'll be right back or something like that. But it was all like the individual letters for the beginning. And it's like, how is anyone supposed to know all this? This is insane. Uh, I don't know. I, I I'm so done with teen drama movies. They're well, yeah, they're gonna get worse and worse. Just the further away we get from that age, yeah. I imagine, because they're gonna make less and less sense. They're not. They're gonna be less and less relatable, and then eventually we're gonna be grumpy old people. Too late. I don't know. It's just I'm already there. So awful. Did uh, yeah, pretty much. I I always wonder if that's how people felt when we were teens and teen dramas were coming out. Oh, I'm sure. Cause like, I'm sure that's how my dad felt. Yeah. Well, your dad was really old. Yeah, exactly. So he probably felt like that with my <laughs> older brother, who's 20 years older than me. 
So th- my dad's gone through this like three different like generations. So yeah, I don't know. I'm sure. <sighs> I also. I, it didn't know. help that I had just watched 13 Reasons Why recently, the second season. Ugh. Oh, I'm not going to bother. Oh, it's that. terrible. But uh, the suicide thing. Like, yeah. I'm why why do they take it so lightly? Like, that's a that's a big deal. It's a serious issue. And this movie did not treat it with any type of respect. No, definitely not. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's like these people are afraid to really, truly tackle it, or I, they they don't want to go too dark, or they want to keep it somewhat light-ish. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. But before I fall, negative five to five. What are you thinking? Negative five, absolutely. Oh, that bad? I was going to say negative three. Oh. No, it was dreadfully bad. It's really bad. Maybe like negative four and a half for that acting performance from that dude. I thought he was great. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it's shot well. It looks nice. Um, no, yeah. It's, it's yeah. The sets are fine. It's it's not like a you know weird direction mm. or directing. It's just a dumb plot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't recommend it at all. And uh, I would love to know if Flame Vortex is listening to this, what you thought about this movie, and if you were just trying to hurt us, or if you actually really liked it and what you liked about it. Because you succeeded. <laughs> um. Oh, again, we did not decide what we were going to do next week. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh any ideas there, Mr. Enixon? Um mm, mm, mm. uh your stalling is really proficient. <laughs> I'm not stalling. Those are sounds that I make when I'm trying to talk. What about the movie Tropic Thunder? Didn't we do that one? Have we not done that one? Did we? I don't remember. I don't know. Let's do that. I was, we'll I, was thinking, I was thinking about that one today. Tentatively do Tropic Thunder if uh, we haven't done that one yet. Okay. But, yeah. So we'll be back maybe with Tropic Thunder, maybe with a mystery movie. Uh, you can follow us. Maybe we'll watch Before I Fall Again. Ooh, I don't know. There you go. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, I seen that pod, like us on Facebook, and we'll be back soon. <laughs>